Right, Mark Russell here, answering your golf questions. This is my Q&A channel. I know you might have seen me on my other channel. That's still going, don't worry about that. But this is my Q&A channel. If you're not subscribed to this one, give it a subscribe. If you've got any golf questions, hit the comments up down below. I'm answering golf questions every week. I'm not trying to get on the silly golf algorithm on YouTube, because it's a joke. All I'm doing is answering your questions. great question here about indoor kind of on the course ranges dipping and dropping when he's on the course to when he's practicing I've done lots of videos on this it's a very common problem so if we forget the crazy wind here today I've got an a time which inside I can get 180 yards on you know easily get 180 yards from the indoor map but outside realistic I'm kind of 160 to 170 for this club 175 at a push the 180s that come easily inside just not happening because what happens outside is the ball generally compared to most mats is sat lower on the ground and I then have to take divots try and get into the ball and under to make sure I get it in the right place on the face and what tends to happen is outside your hits will tend to be lower so lower on the face inside they'll tend to be higher higher face hits will create less spin less spin if you've got launch for lots of golfers is going to create more distance now this is on an eight iron i've got quite chunky eight iron so the center of gravity of my club's quite low so me hitting above it can really drop spin off if you change that up and we start talking about hybrids where the center of gravity is way further back than the face and the driver even more so but obviously driver on a tee so you haven't got this problem as much now this one from the ground on the bottom strikes for me like 200 205 210 if i get on a nice line i get it up the face or i tee it up outside or i hit it off mats which are basically like semi rough nine times out of ten I can get this one going 230, same problem. So what you've got to do is when you've got your indoor numbers or your range numbers from a mat, you need to understand they are your most top end. And if you can, try and measure some out on the grass as well. Even if that just means putting some clubs down at a yardage, if you haven't got a launch monitor, and keep hitting them to see if you can make that average yardage because you'll find, and it's used by fitters and selling clubs is a great thing indoors because they go further. And then people take them on the course to go, why are they not going as far as anymore? Strike. Strike rules us all, I'm afraid. It just controls everything that we do, like everything. Thanks for the question. Hope that helps. You got a question? Hit the questions up down below. Remember, if you're not subscribed to this channel, give it a subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you want more questions answered, I'm here just to answer your questions. Why don't we just make you all smarter? Then you might be better players. That's what I want to do.